That looks good. Yeah, the green. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we are. Oh, it's still it's, circling. Here. Yes, but I think we're still on, and it it yes. can catch us sometimes. It can catch us. It can catch us. Got to customize your dashboard and live oh, producer. Oh no! Just got, got, it. It. got it. Oh, okay, I've got it. Facebook, they change the rules every week. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we are here. I think we are. Let us know if if uh, you can see us. Give us some thumbs up. Let's see. Yeah, Let us know. I think I see 60 people are on. Yay, oh, yeah. okay. okay. Great, where do you see that? Uh, right there. It's okay, this. good, yes. I know. Yes, okay, I'm seeing some. Hi, something. everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. To sun, sunsets with <laughs> Dan and Cindy. <laughs> we still got our green leftover from yes, St. Patrick, St. Patrick's Day. Yes, just a little bit of leftover green. So uh, it's been quite a week. Quite a week. Quite a week. Let's tell them while everybody's signing on. Yes. Let's just remind them where you can find us on social yes. media. Tell us. You can find me right here on Facebook, Sandy Patty, and on YouTube. Sandy Patty uh, YouTube channel, which has a really great vocal warm up. People have told me everywhere they're using it a lot. And because, you know, we haven't been singing regularly uh, all of right. 2020. So right. um, it's good warm up. And Instagram is Sandy Patty P, and also on Twitter. And how about you? Well, you can find me at D O N P E S L I S, Don Pestless, both at Instagram and Facebook. And we'll talk a little bit later about the Canizo blog weekly that I've got a blog out there for you that's a great place to, to check in too. But that's where to find us. That is where to find us. That's where to find us. It has been an interesting week. It has. Uh, we have, we first of all, are we, I don't think I've still stopped fangirling that we had Amy Grant on we last week. We did. <laughs> is she just precious? She is. She is. I mean, just absolutely precious. So. Just the real deal. The real the real, real deal. Talked deal. about her open heart surgery. You yeah. can go back and, and watch the episode again on Facebook because once yeah. it's up, it never goes away. Right. And that's because Thomas. So give some love to Thomas. That's it. Shouts, this shouts week, to Thomas. Thank yes. Thomas thank you. House so very much. Um, St. Patty's Day. St. Patrick's Day. Well, so it's funny. A friend of mine, Kenny Holcomb, yes. he posted a picture mm -hmm. that he posts every year, I guess. And it says Saint Saint Sandy Patty's Day. Yes. <laughs> Instead of Saint Patrick's Day. Which is so funny. But the other funny story we have with Saint Patrick yes. was with Sam when he was little. His yes. name is Sam Patrick. Samuel Patrick Pestless. And so on Saint Patrick's Day, he just thought everybody was saying Sam Patrick. It's Sam Patrick's it's Day. It's Sam Patrick's Day. Yes. So anyway, now we all Still refer to it as Sam Patrick's Day. Sam Patrick's Day. I know. I love it. So let us know where you're tuning in from. We always, love it. always love, it. love uh, oh, Huntington, West Virginia. I love it. And we love knowing those pre-Tyree names. Remember, we don't want to gloss over that. That, again, we know you're watching traditionalists and boomers that were the biggest generation out there. Many of us are moving towards retirement. Some already have. We may have left the office but nothing is slowing down. That's that pre-Tyrese, <laughs> and we've chosen the name Dan and Cindy. So and that's so when people yes. ask why, why Isn't is he Don? calling her Cindy? Is it Don and We're Cindy? We're having fun with our pre-Tyree names, which started as as a skit yes. in church a few yes. years ago, yes. and it just kind of stuck. Dan and Cindy. Dan and Cindy. Instead of Don and Sandy. So what else we got? So well, uh, do you want to tell them what you did this week? Yes, yesterday I. Uh, Went and got my second Moderna shot right here. And uh, you know what? Uh, again, I, I, I know we, we take a chance, and, but we want to be very upfront and honest with you. And we feel like it's the right thing to do. So we For us, say now, this. Because our doctor, we talked yes. to our doctor. And we've had Dr. Andy on twice. Yes. But we don't want to make anyone feel bad out there or feel like we we're putting anybody on the spot. But mm -hmm. as good citizens, we felt like it was the right thing to do and we're really wanting to work towards the herd immunity yeah and you know what i ran this morning let's test well, it well right so i i'm gonna tell you so wanna... right now you mm -hmm. are you are having some reaction yes. i had a fever that that really is all i had last time and this time this and morning. just really extreme fatigue a little bit so this morning i took his temp and our little thermometer went beep, 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 
Maybe yeah, it was okay, like 102. No, no, no. It was 101.7. Okay, whatever. Why let All the right. truth get in the way of a good story? But anyway, look, close. I feel, I'm I, saying about 98.7 right now. Ready? You think so? Hit it. Okay. Hit it. Okay, I have to turn it on first. Okay. 98.5. Look at that. How about that? So, you know what I want to say to you folks? It's not, I don't have COVID. Dr. Andy was very clear about that. I don't have COVID now, but my body is now moving from 65% to 95% accurate in preventing me getting COVID again. So I'm- This year. This year. But you know what? We get the flu shot every year. Right. And you still have a chance of getting the flu. But I, for as for our house, and again, this is not anything to do with the vaccine. It's my birthmark. But I, I just, kissed him on the cheek right before we started. But I want to say to you guys, yes, I'm having a little bit of symptoms today, but I'm here. I wanted very much. Uh -huh. We thought about it yesterday. Yeah, we did. We knew we, we were going to be. this through. I wanted to go live and show you that even with a little bit of a fever, it's not COVID. It's just a little bit of the reaction, yeah. but we're here and you can do that. So get so, out there and, and get please vaccinated. Please talk to your doctor yes. because there are unique situations. So we are not saying bar none, no. go get a vaccine. No. Talk to your doctor. We're just telling you we did. Yes. And I, um, I'm so excited because yes. my parents did as well. Yes. And we're heading that way to see mom and dad <laughs> next say, month. I know. Wait, it. I know. I'm gonna hug them, I hug know them, never ever great. let go. So we've seen them, but we've not been able to hug them for yeah, about a year. I know. And it's just about a year anniversary that this oh, hit. Well, you know, um, you know, hit. my time hop. Yep. Shows up. Yep. Two days ago, my time hop showed up of me going on social media saying I tested positive for COVID. Yes, yes. How weird is that? So the it has been- The 13th of March last it, year yeah, is when it hit me. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a very weird feeling in, in an anniversary. But I, you know what? And, and for those, it has been such, uh, so, so many different emotions, so many different things. Uh, some have experienced great loss. Mm -hmm. Some have experienced so many different things. Mm -hmm. But I come to it tonight, and I'm thankful that we've got medicine. I'm thankful mm -hmm. that we have science. I'm thankful because, honestly, the more we learn about science, the more I understand about science, the more I believe in our Heavenly Father. You know what that? You know? I, I do. I think. You know, they've slowed light down enough now that they've got the particle, and guess what they call that particle? <laughs> the God particle. Mm -hmm. So you see, God's in it all. He's in it all. But we encourage you to <coughs> talk to your doctor. Yep. Talk to your physician. Dr. Andy has said the same thing. We'll have him back on again. But Dr. Andy, if you're watching, hey, I don't have COVID. I've just got a little bit of reaction. Yeah. And I'm here tonight it's, to say. It's kind of like Cliff Notes COVID. <laughs> like well, it goes through quickly all well, the symptoms. Anyway. Yeah. No. Okay. No. For you. No. But for Not me. for me. Yeah. Okay. For you, maybe. Yeah. But for me, just a little We're going to talk about the mugs because. Yes. While it was very exciting news that we had mugs made, yes, we had no earthly idea mm -hmm. that the postage was yes. going to be so expensive. You know, there's always fine print, <sighs> right? And you know what? We we have no say over right. postage. It has to do with your zip code, yes. how soon you want it, yes. all of that. So right. we we've chosen to lower the price of the mug to just barely the cost. Right, Basically. cover the cost. So 18 bucks for the mug, plus shipping, shipping and, handling. and handling. And just please know, if you don't want to order one, it's okay with it's us. Okay. But if you do, that's how you can do it. Thomas will put that um, post up there, how you can do it. They sure are really great, and they're mm -hmm. like tall, oh, yeah. and they have and our cute coffee. little face on there. All right, and you can get those. And again, we're going to make them available to you. And we apologize about the postage uh, on that. I was just sick when I heard about that. So we hope that helps. Thomas yes. will put the link up. And yes. if you get your mug, will you do us a favor? Take a picture with your mug yes. and post it on social media. Love it. We would love for you to do that. Love it. All right. What do you have for us in the almanac well, here, little, sir? Give us a little bit almanac of... Almanac moment with Dan. The sales of the almanac continue to skyrocket. And we have to think that the, the Dan and Cindy the Dan and Cindy factor <laughs> is somehow influencing the purchasing of this almanac. Now Pippin is wandering around it's just here. Leave him. <laughs> leave him. Just let it go. He's lost. Just let it go. <laughs> but since 1792, your friend, the old farmer's almanac, has been giving us great advice on weather and, and, and growing, planting, harvesting, cattle, 
uh, all different kinds of things. But for us, it's weather. And guess what today is? What? Today. What, well, Dan? What is today? Today is very special. Not only is it the 20th of March, let's mm -hmm. give them just a little bit of data there that Again, I had a beautiful sunrise at 6.47. These are Boston, so Eastern Standard Times. Sun uh, set 6.57, about 6.43, uh, excuse me, 7.43. <laughs> Spit it out, Dan. And uh, He had his back. I'm feeling just a little emotional. Uh, but we've had a <laughs> lovely... <was> funny. <laughs> lovely. That was for Chris Heldebrand. Right. If Chris nope, Heldebrand, you're watching. Keep going. 12 hours <laughs> and 10 minutes of sun, sun uh, daylight and uh, sunrise. Okay, I think we need to move right along. Oh, uh, but uh, I don't well, know if we're proving you can function or not after we, the vaccine. No, we, we are, are proving we, are. we can. <laughs> but in 2021, this is the spring equinox today, Cindy. On March 20th, this event marks the astronomical first day of spring in the northern hemisphere. Okay. <sighs> So the Northern Hemisphere, that's us, mm -hmm. it, AKA the vernal equinox, spring equinox. Okay. That's where the sun crosses the equator line heading north in the sky. Oh, wow. All right, now at the same time, it Tell. begins for the Southern Hemisphere, the mark. So we're up in the Northern, we're up here in the Northern Hemisphere, but the South America begins their fall. <gasps> we begin spring. Right. Remember the earth is tilted at a nice 23.5 degrees. That's okay. why in Australia it's tomorrow. That's exactly right. <laughs> so for those of you that have wanted to plan, thought, oh, I'm ready for spring. Spring is here. The spring equinox is upon us and uh, we're heading, the days are getting, and it's actually thought of that uh, the day, equal day and equal night at the spring equinox. And there was even... Is it? Yes. <gasps> And I actually uh, really, really love that. Yes. And now the days are going, the sunlight and the sunshine is going to get longer, moving towards that, the summer equinox. And you know that's when? In June, right? 22nd. And it'll probably be one of the longest days of the year when we'll be on Dame and Cindy. So again, oh, yay. All of you, that's it. Spring equinox, get those plants out, okay? <gasps> yes. Get your almanac and send us a picture. Send us a picture of you with your almanac. We love that. And remember, you can also go to the oldfarmersalmanac.com online and get everything there online as well. All right. Uh, I'm going to add one thing. Come on. So we've had an overabundance of tulips. Yes. Right? Yes. And people are like, oh, my tulips are so beautiful. I yes. never even knew. Or like, I got a new house. I never even knew there were tulips there. Yes. And it's because I, I read. Yes. That tulips like really cold weather. Well, so we have offered really cold weather this year, and there are tulips everywhere. See? I never knew, and they're perennials, which means all they're all by themselves. Yes. They bloom every year. Well, here's what I'm hoping with Papa and Nana's visit next month. We have these beautiful flower boxes that when we lived in Anderson, Nana, every year, yes. every year planted beautiful oh, flowers. So did. when she comes out, Nana, if you're watching and Papa tonight. We're planning, we've got the flower boxes out, and we'll put the Nana touch on the Oklahoma house when you're out mm -hmm. here. But again, this is your almanac moment. Uh, Summer day. begins. <laughs> That's it. Spring Mar begins. Sorry, spring begins March 21 today. And last week we had that, we lost the hour. We sprang forward. We did, we Ooh, did. Sunday morning was early. It was the annual 7.30 a.m. service <laughs> in the <laughs> chapel. <laughs> They'll search. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, here's my tech tip, y'all. All right, let's go. Um, we've had, uh, everybody's just raised their tech game during Corona and 2020. And um, some of like our kids age, mm -hmm. their friends, yes. they're like, thank you so much for teaching my parents how to do FaceTime. So we no longer see their nostrils. <laughs> anyway, so my, my tech tip, however, is just more tech information okay. reminder. Yes. That social media is not where we go for the latest news. Yes, news source. It's not, you know, it, it's it's called social yes. media. Yes. So I'm just reminding everybody, uh, go to the CDC. Yes. Go to the FDA. Yes, dot org. Um, go to those websites. Real sources. Directly. Mm -hmm. And don't get your news from social media. Mm -hmm. And also, Dr. Andy reminded us of this, mm -hmm. talk to your doctor. Yes. Because your doctor knows you better than anybody yes. else. But it's just a reminder, I think, for all of us, 
we can get in the deep dark hole sometimes of social mm -hmm. media and go, oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Check it out, verify it, always yes. go to the source. Yes. That's my tech tip. Great advice. Thank you, Cindy. All right. Well, tell us what's happening in the world of Canizo. Now, I'm gonna also tell them what I've challenged you with. Why don't you go ahead there, Cindy? Don writes this amazing blog every week. It's so great. Canizo is becoming kind of that one-stop shop where you can find out information about uh, multi-generations. Um, you know, what's a good place for your parents who need yes. assisted living? Yes. You know, how to communicate when sometimes what what our parents have seen in their lifetime yes. to the fact that my dad is a whiz on the computer. Yes. Like, but what they've seen, yes. the changes that they've seen, mm -hmm. and how to just have a conversation about that. Anyway, Don writes an awesome blog, and I, I love that you write it, and I am challenging you this week okay. to actually read it to us on social media. All right. Okay. You've heard it, the challenge. First of all, your face is so cute. So Will I accept this challenge? Will he accept? Will he or will he not? That but I think question. it would be really awesome. <laughs> I do. So I'm challenging Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Post it as well, yes. but I'm just challenging yes. you to, to read it to us. Yes. Well, Canizo, we hope to begin that C-O-N-I-Z-O dot com. And we hope to become one of those resources that you trust for information, education, inf uh, resources for multi-generational um, living life well. And, you know, when it's all said and done, they'll look back and have a well-lived life. Yeah. I enjoy writing that blog so very much. I wrote about spring and a little bit about spring cleaning and the history, the long storied history of why do we spring clean? Is why it just something? We? Okay, well, you'll just have to go check out that blog at C-O-N-I-Z-O. But he took that so seriously that he had a dumpster ordered that yes, showed up in we our driveway. Back to the weekly recap. And he's like, okay, <laughs> We're going to clean. <laughs> and we did. did. Well, we filled up that it dumpster. did help that we had boxes in Oklahoma City from the move, from two moves here. And I don't know if you guys, but let me encourage you out there, folks. You know what? Uh, and I actually uh, looked it up. Uh, one man's trash is another man's mm, treasure. You'll have to see that in the blog. I actually found the source of that. But ah. I did. Mm. But uh, it's freeing. Sandy and I both felt fantastic to get the garage clean. We've got a couple more areas in the house, but you know what? We're hunter gatherers. That means, and let me give you a little tip. This is sort of my, uh, not tech tip, but house tip. If you bring something in, maybe it's three new shirts, maybe it's uh, a new purse, maybe it's uh, a, a new stereo, whatever it could be that you bring in, take something out. All right? That's good. Every time you bring something in. Now you're just meddling. But, but you know what? If it's a piece of clothes, that was okay. Take two out <laughs> because you know what? Goodwill, and we, we made a, a really nice drop mm -hmm. to Goodwill, and it's fantastic what you can find there. Folks love that. So yeah. again, Goodwill, we'll have Thomas put that up there, their website. They love to accept things, but when you bring something in the house, mm -hmm. take something out. All right, Cindy, yeah. what do we got next? Well, um, we have Easter's coming, yes, and we've been talking about different songs. This uh, one's one of my up. favorite. Well, this it, is one of my favorite songs. It is. So I thought tonight, um, we'll talk about the song They Could Not. Oh. And um, I have to give you, yes, you know, give, me, us context. Context. give us context. Give us context. Back in the 80s, when there was the Christian Artist Seminar in Estes Park, Colorado. Yes, yes. It was so great. Um, just beautiful, gorgeous. Oh. Love it was it. a week Love long. It. Yes. Songwriters, artists, yes. every, you know, everybody Love was it. there. Yes. And one of my favorite songwriters is a man named Ron Harris. Ron Harris, he wrote a lot of songs for Evie. Yes. Um, just a marvelous songwriter. He was the idea guy. Okay. Got it. And um, Claire Cloninger. Who, incidentally, fun fact, she's the one who wrote that second verse for the Star Spangled Banner that I there did for the 1986, I know, um, Statue of Liberty. Yes, yes, okay. Statue of Liberty. So I remember, I remember walking across the campground. Okay. And I remember Ron Harris, like, meeting me halfway. He goes, he goes, can you talk? I said, well, I'm on my way to seminar. Walk with me. So he walked with me. He goes. I have the best idea for a song. I go, well, tell me what it is. I can't tell you. 
I said, Ron, tell me what it is. He goes, it, it's the best idea for a song I've ever had, ever, ever. He goes, I promise you're gonna get a demo as soon as we leave. So about a month later, yes, this has been September, mm -hmm. uh, I get this demo in the mail and it's this song, They Could Not. So I love when a lyric paints a picture. Yes. And then I love when a, the, the main hook of a lyric yes. becomes something different oh, at the I end. Love it. Yes. Yes. Um, so I, uh, maybe you don't know this, but whenever I get a new song, before I even listen, I always read the lyric first. Because I feel like if it doesn't say anything, then a s music is not going to help that. That's right. That's okay, right. so I'm looking at this lyric, and I'm like, okay, so I'll just read it, yes. okay? They looked at him and saw a simple man, a carpenter with healing in his hands. They saw him calm the sea and heal a dying man. They saw, but could they really understand? Mm. They could not. They listened to the teaching that they heard. They wondered at the mystery of his word. They wondered what he meant about mm -hmm. a father's plan. Mm -hmm. They heard, but could they really understand? They could not. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this already gets me. I love it so much. So finally, upon a rugged cross, they killed the man who would not suffer loss. Mm -hmm. And when at last they took what willingly he gave, he died. But could they keep him in the grave? They could not. Oh, oh that's so good. That, I mean, I have chills now. How many years later? So 40 good. years later? So, so good. Uh, they, they could, could not. not. Praise and so, God. Praise God. Praise God. They could not. Uh, and when at last they took from him, what willingly he what gave. Willingly he gave. Could, they, could keep, they keep him in the grave? They could not. <laughs> they could not. Yeah. Oh, man. That's so good. What a powerful song. We all knew it when, the, when we recorded it. Yeah. When the band just recorded it. Mm. We all knew something powerful was in those lyrics. And that's so something. that's one of my favorite Easter songs. Well, it's one of mine too. That goes without saying this, this time of the year is just full. We almost run out of weeks. We literally were talking <laughs> before the show. Uh, we've got, did we do via? Yes. What about they could not? What about morning like this? What about in the name, in the of, name the of the Lord for Palm Sunday, which she's going to sing Glorious with us. morning. So, but know that Easter is this Lenten season, this Easter as we lead up to the most holy of holy weeks and Easter Sunday is such a great time. But Thomas is gonna put that link for you out there to go and enjoy They Could Not. Let that inspire you, let that inspire your heart that what he willingly gave yeah. this season, the greatest gift They that's took ever, what willingly he gave. And they could not, not keep him keep in the him. grave. In the grave. That's good. As news. my dad says, thou preach. <laughs> well, speaking of that, let's talk about a crossings moment. We're yes. nearing the end of our time with you, and it goes always weekly. It goes so fast. We just love spending time with you, uh, and we love hearing from you throughout the week. But again, Sandy's artist in residence at Crossings Community Church, and I'm the chapel worship pastor, and we mm -hmm. love that. Marty, uh, Pastor Marty, is just such a dear friend, and and it's so fun. We're really starting to see. The Dan and Cindy, the Dan and Cindy factor. Uh, I'm in meetings, uh, in our worship meetings twice a week, and they go, you know, the, the online pastor, because, you know, during the pandemic, 80% uh, of our audience switched our congregation to online. So we've got online pastors for you. And he goes, well, these folks are joining because, uh, Don, do you know, who's this Dan and who's Cindy? Dan and, and I Cindy? said, well, <laughs> so make sure when you sign in to Crossings again tomorrow, 9.30 uh, Central, uh, 11 Central time. And 12.30. And 12.30, mm -hmm. right. You've got two choices. You've got the uh, sanctuary service, which is blended, and then you've got the venue service, which is a little more contemporary. But there's a chat feature. As you're chatting, say, Dan and Cindy invited us, and we're here. Yes. I love to have that, the Dan and Cindy factor. They actually sent out a staff email a couple weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> 
and they they were telling all the staff yeah, yeah. and our online numbers seem to be and 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 he knew by then yes yes so we want to thank Don and Sandy, a.k.a. Dan, Dan. and Cindy. So <laughs> we love it. Well, we've been in a great series that's leading up through. Uh, one so of how our... can we find, did you say Crossings.Church? Yes, I did. I'm going to say that. You can find that at Crossings.Church for the online services. Again, Crossings.Church. But we also want to invite you to join us for our 40 days. And I've been posting daily. Sandy's been reposting those. Easter.Crossings.Church. Yeah. Easter.crossings.church, and you can get a 40-day experience, each day a scripture and a prayer. Yeah. But we're so very thankful again for Crossings and for you joining us weekly. Uh, let them know Dan and Cindy <laughs> sent you, all right? Indeed. Well, it's time for us. I can't, it does go by. You it just does. said that, and it just goes by so fast. And we just have loved this um, COVID season, this season of waiting. Yes. You have been part of our waiting. Yes. And um, thank you for hanging out with us. And yes. and y'all keep tuning in. So if you're tuning in, we'll come. We'll come. We'll, keep, we'll come see you. We'll keep the show going. <laughs> so um, we've got a lovely prayer. I've asked Sandy to lead tonight uh, to close us out in this Lenten season. It's a lovely tomorrow is the fifth Sunday in Lent, which leads us next week to Palm Sunday, and then we find ourselves in Holy Week. But this is a, mm -hmm. a lovely prayer. Read that for us. Almighty God. You alone can bring into order the unruly wills and affections of your people. Grant us, your beloved, grace to love what you command and desire what you promise, that among the swift and varied changes of the world, mm. our hearts may surely be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us again this week. Hey, let me encourage you. You know what? If I can do it, you can too. Mm -hmm. Check with your doctor. Check with your doctor. Get your vaccine. I'm really proud of you. Well, hey, we want to show the show. That's one of the things this, this gal the show always goes on, and we wanted <laughs> we wanted you to know tonight. Hey, it's mm -hmm. real. You mm -hmm. always can count on Dan and Cindy being real for mm -hmm. uh, with you, yeah. and uh, we love having you join in with us. So until next week, this is Sunsets with Dan and Cindy. You tune in at seven thirty Central, eight thirty Eastern, five thirty in Cali, and in Australia tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See y'all. See you next week. <laughs>